under the weight of two bowling balls takes weird choreography. After a little while, I can't take it anymore. I feel like I'm being suffocated to the um <laughs> It's no surprise that she has to custom make her bras, but her breasts are so heavy that her doctor surgically implanted a pigskin corset into her chest to support them. You can feel it. It goes all the way down. It wasn't always this way. Before she was Lacey, she was Paula, just a poor girl from West Virginia. That's the house I grew up in. I slept on the floor. I don't think I'll ever um, be that poor again. She married at 16, was divorced with two kids by 21. Lacey was scraping by on her salary as a waitress when suddenly she had an inspiration. I knew that the girls that were waitressing were making the most money that had the bigger boobs. Twelve breast surgeries later, Lacey Wilde was born. She says her oversized breasts earn her thousands. What do the world's biggest boob models make? You can make about two hundred fifty thousand a year. But for her children, the cost of living with a mom that looks like this are high. On this day, her public appearance at a weekend event draws a mom. And that brunette next to her, that's her daughter, Tori. All right, that's just crazy. It's, it's annoying. It's really like, I feel like we should have a normal time, you know, walking down the street. But I wish she could take them off when we go places together. Amazingly, she's now preparing to go even bigger, from a triple L cup to a triple M. But her last implants were so large that she tore a pectoral muscle and started hemorrhaging. And now, no doctor in America is willing to do her next operation. I went into this knowing that there are going to be very big risks involved, and uh, I'm ready to take that chance. As when Tori is upset about that gamble. You know, when people like put on the internet, like, oh, I'm going to kill myself, or I'm going to do this, people around them are like, do it, do it, do it, because they don't really care about you, they just want to see you do something crazy, and then they're done. So you're going to do it? Well, I haven't done it yet, so. So, and that was How are you making more money if it's an N versus an L? Be the number one booked breast star in the world, I'm sure. But then people will start booking her, kind of like, you know, when you go see, like, the two-headed man, you know? It's not like they're booking her because, oh, wow, she's, Thank like, you, dear. Dear. I just love I'm just this saying. <laughs> Like, you know, but she's, she's like, basically people... saying I'm the sideshow. I'm not going to do this forever. There will be a day that I do settle down in my little house in the country or whatever, and I take my implants out, and I look like I used to, just with gray hair. <laughs> It's hard to say what really drives the obsession Lacey and Justin have with their bodies. The way this world works, the sex sells. Um, the world has actually made Lacey wild, not me. But at the end of the day, I couldn't help but wonder, does plastic make perfect? There is no perfect. I, I don't think that there is any real end point. You have to wonder if all this surgery is about making us look better or just about making other people look twice. Stitched in, pushed up.